On Saturday, 17 August 2024, the International Day of Solidarity with the People of Venezuela, progressive organizations, political parties, trade unions, and ambassadors representing various countries met at the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela's embassy in Pretoria, South Africa. We spoke to those attending to find out more. I am Carlos Feo, Ambassador of Venezuela of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela in South Africa. We are now in Pretoria at the embassy. Uh, we are celebrating the 17 August as an international day in solidarity with Venezuela, with the people of Venezuela and the will of the people of Venezuela that last 28 July decide to re-elect the President Nicolás Maduro for the next term. So after that, we have been seeing a lot of aggression, uh, especially directed by U.S. government. That has been very tough. The two first days after the elections in Venezuela, a lot of violence that has been controlled already. But in the international level, we, we have been uh, seeing a lot of uh, pre international pressure. But uh, the democracy is, is like this. The people decide who is going to be the president. And in this case, they decide to re-elect President Nicolás Maduro with the 51% of the total of the votes. South Africa is, of course, one of our sister countries. Uh, we have a very good uh, solidarity and friendship ties with South African government and also South African people that has been uh, and has that has expressed also their solidarity with the Venezuelan Bolivarian revolution uh, 25 years ago from now uh, and we thank them we thank you for that and is one of the axes of the resistance of the Bolivarian uh, revolution is solidarity. It's the solidarity that is expressed not only by the uh, friendly governments as Cuba, as Iran, Russia, China, and many, Algeria, South Africa itself, but also with the political organization and social movement all around the world. And in South Africa, we see that there is a important social movement, movement and uh, political organizations going on in supporting Venezuelan people, Venezuelan revolution. Uh, we are here to strengthen that, that, those ties and to keep going together. Together we stand, together we, we are going to resist the, these aggressions, imperialist aggressions that we are facing now. You know, I appreciate coming to this event and also because this is an international day of action with the Venezuelan people in solidarity with the Venezuelan people. We had a lot of information, information that is very different to what we've been seeing in the South African media landscape and the international news uh, that we can safely call mouthpieces of imperialism. What we saw here is that contrary to the view that they are saying there is anarchy and disorder in Venezuela, what we saw is that people are mobilizing, they are taking to the streets. Uh, popular support for the Bolivarian Revolution is being demonstrated in their numbers because people have gains uh, to defend that they have secured from the revolution on a number of fronts. So really appreciate we the information that we got and hope that we can use that information um, to you know share and educate comrades in the organization and other organizations we're working with to understand the situation, but not only to understand, to take action uh, in defense of the Bolivarian Revolution. No, we, we came here uh, to support the Bolivarian Revolution uh, on winning the elections and uh, resounding a uh, victory that they had on the 28th of July in Venezuela. Um, and we came to support to support them because now they are being persecuted and the, uh, there is mobilization around the world, uh, especially from the West, to try and discredit these elections that were very free and fair, that were witnessed by many organizations from Africa, from Europe, from America, that have said that the elections were free and fair, and that Comrade uh, uh, Nicolas Madura won with 51 more than 51 percent of the of the vote. So our 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 presence here, with many other organisations, is to support and to say uh, to those who are not accepting that they must uh, wait for the tribunal of uh, highest court of Venezuela. 
to announce if there are any other problems that are there, to announce who is the actual winner of these elections. But we know that uh, Mr. Maduro and the, the Bolivarian government uh, have won these elections. We are here to support them uh, because we know there is a very um, a big aggression that is coming from the West uh, because of the issues and also because of the mineral resources that Venezuela has. Uh, we know that Venezuela is the, one of the biggest uh, producers of uh, crude oil in the world. They've got the biggest reserves of gold. This is what the, uh, the West is looking for. And that's why they are discrediting so that they can put their puppets just like they did before. Um, in the last elections, they announced that uh, Juan Guajo was the winner of the elections. This time they've also come up with a, a new candidate that they have announcing. So it's the same thing that they've been doing more, all, all over again, not wanting to, to, um, to agree with the, the will of the people of Venezuela because the Bolivarian revolution is for the people and it's not uh, promoting the uh, use of the resources by a few with these big corporates that come from the West, especially from the United States. But these resources are now being used for to benefit the poor, to benefit the working class in, in Venezuela. This is why we need to support, all of us in South Africa need to support uh, what is happening in Venezuela, support the government of Venezuela and recognize their win in these elections.